Thanks for joining us. We start tonight with a local man who was hospitalized this morning after a water rescue crews responded in the Wood Flat Wolf Flats area in Bonneville County. Eyewitness News 3's Braden Wilson takes us to the scene and fills us in on what happened. Earlier this morning, water rescue teams were dispatched to the Wolf Flats Recreation Area, where a truck pulling two trailers suddenly lost control, causing it to veer off into the South Fork of the Snake River to my right. Well, approximately 7.30 this morning, we got a 911 call of a crash truck and trailer that had entered the river near the Wolf Flats boat ramp area and a male that was still trapped inside the truck. At that time, the backcountry deputy alerted the Bonneville County Sheriff's Office dive team, the Bonneville County Search and Rescue Team, Central Fire, and Central Fire Tech Rescue, and uh, we started to deploy. After crews arrived, the backcountry deputy proved to be a key piece in helping crews get to the right spot just two miles upstream from the Byington boat ramp to the crash site. A deputy that had driven across the field up by uh, Lane Clark rest area that was spotted the camper that was separated from the truck and a dog floating on top of it. And from there he could see the male floating in the river, which gave us a good location to search for it. When crews reached the scene, they found the camper already falling apart. As you can see from these photos sent by the Bonneville County Sheriff's Office. Deputy Michael Vasquez says thankfully the driver who lost control of his vehicle seemed to only have minor injuries. They were also able to rescue the man's dogs who had climbed on top of the fifth wheel camper. He was conscious, uh, somewhat conscious when we when we got to him and got him here. We also rescued a, a small dog and, and um, several puppies that were with the, with the trailer. He was then transported to the Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center to receive treatment for his injuries. Crews shared with us the video of the helicopter taking flight. <laughs> Deputy Vasquez credits the preparedness of the sheriff's office and their partners for the quick response, which allowed them to get to the scene and rescue the man quickly. Each team, each shift that has on the sheriff's office usually has a few divers or water rescue technicians that are on the shift. And so we were able to deploy very quickly uh, with a boat. As soon as the 911 call came in with a boat and some uh, swift water technicians and some divers immediately, probably within the first 20 minutes of the call, everybody was getting close to Byington. And then once we were able to deploy into the water again, we, were, we had a team ready to go uh, to whoever what we could do to save him. So, it, so far, it's, everything's looking good. Eyewitnesses share that many cars stopped to try and help out until rescue teams arrive. Members of the family tell us they are doing okay. Family and friends have set up a GoFundMe for those wanting to help them out. In Bonneville County, I'm Braden Wilson. A link to the fundraiser can be found on our website if you're wanting to donate.